You are watching One Book, One Review with Wiebke. Hey everyone, today I want to tell you about Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the third book in the Infernal Devices. If you haven't read book one or two, don't watch this video because I don't think I can talk about this book without spoiling any information about the other two. Before I start talking about the story, can we first look at this cover and oh my god, how amazing is this? It's so shiny and nice. A warning, if you haven't ha read the book yet, don't look inside the dust cover. There is a spoilery family tree in there. If you've already seen my monthly wrap up and follow me on Goodreads, you know I love the book. And I also love the series. I loved Clockwork Angel very, very much. Clockwork Prince got a little bit on the downside with all the stuff with Jam and Tessa, which annoyed me because I thought the characters were flawed in there and they were not as strong as in the first book. But Clockwork Princess makes up for that. In the beginning, it continues it's just like Clockwork Prince, being slow and annoying and overly concentrating on Jem and Tessa and all the emotional stuff and yeah, it was a little bit too boring for me. But then it so picks up and the action comes and everything that happens in the story is just amazing. I'm just not gonna tell you what's going to happen in the story because it'll ruin anything. Let's just say they wrap up all the things that are loose ends and they find a way to make everything good. And that's what I love about this book because Cassandra Clare managed to give me everything I wanted. Everything I was hoping for that happened in Clockwork Princess happened. And I'm just so happy there. It's, it's amazing. And it's not only the story with Tessa, Jem and Will that I'm happy about how it turned out, how it, the events got along. And even though in the epilogue I was like, mm -hmm. Okay, be happy, be happy for her, but it was good. It's not what I would have wanted, but it's a good solution. I really, really like her way of ending the story and finding a solution to, I think, make everyone happy. Let's be honest, I think everyone can be happy with the ending. Since I don't really want to talk about the story, let's talk about the characters. In the other books, I mainly concentrated on Tessa, Will and Jen because all the other characters were more in the background and they didn't feel like really progressing and yeah, active. And that changed in this book. I really like that she put more attention to Gideon and Gabriel and Sophie and Charlotte and Henry and, and all the other people in the Institute. And I really like that. I really like the story of Gabriel and Cecily and of Gideon and Sophie and all the other things that are happening are so much more intense than in the second book that I really fell in love with all the characters all of a sudden. And well, oh, don't get me started on Will. I just love his character. He's gotten so much better in this book again than he was in the books before. He's just so perfect. Perfect. And Tessa's gotten stronger again as well. She's more like in the first book, not as weak and vulnerable as in the second, but strong and single-minded and really smart. I really liked her in this book. I really don't know what else to say. This book seems like a perfect ending to the series. The only thing that is sad is that it ended because the world is rather interesting. Even though I didn't like everything that happened in the whole series and I don't agree with all the things that were going on, I really love the world and the characters and I'm sad to see them go. Okay, I know I'm not the only one who's read the book. I want to know what you guys thought. Please try not to spoil people in the comments or make it obvious that you want to talk about details and write spoiler in the beginning of the comment. Let's talk about this. Jem, being the nice and understanding guy all the time, he's just so, oh, starts to fall in love with Tessa, which wouldn't be a problem if 